大家好，我是在美国教汉语的 Crazy 老师。So, a、uh, funny thing to type in Chinese is 打字，啊、uh, ，which means to hit the characters. And the good news is you do not need a special keyboard to type Chinese. All you need is your regular computer keyboard or your phone and Chinese input method and your hand. After watching this video, you will not only be able to add the Chinese keyboard to your devices, but also type Chinese character fast and easy. Now let me show you how do you set up your keyboard on your computer and then later on your phone. 我们还等什么呢？开始吧。If you have Chinese board installed, just skip ahead. Step one. I am using Windows 10 system. If you use some others. Just try to find where is your language preferences and add a language and keyboard. Okay, if you do use the same system, just follow the steps. So first, at the right bottom, here you will see there should be a, a sign ENG on the taskbar, and click on that. So go to language preferences. You will see it shows Windows Display Language, and that is not the thing we want to change. And please do not change it. Okay. And, uh, preferred languages. We're gonna add a language, okay? And the language we're adding today, of course, is Chinese. And then we're adding the Chinese Simplified China. If you use simplified characters, and you can use China, uh, Chinese Taiwan,、uh, if you do traditional. So we will do this, and then click next. And now,、uh, when you do this,、uh, install language pack. You need to do that first, and please do not click "set as my Windows Display Language" unless you want to challenge yourself and change everything into Chinese on your computer. Okay, so do not do that. And then, if you want to do the text to speech,、uh, click that too. And then, if you want to try handwriting on your computer,、uh, go ahead and do that too. Okay, so now I'm gonna install. Okay, if you don't have it, you have to install. So now、uh, it's pending. It's gonna take you a little while. So I have an Android phone, so I am going to settings, and if you have iPhone, same thing. Go to settings, and then next I'm gonna find system, and if you're on iPhone, click general, okay. And then again, on my phone, I will go to languages and input, and if you're on iPhone, click input or keyboard, something like that. Okay, and once you're here,、uh, we're not changing languages, country or region. I'm gonna go to my virtual keyboard, and I'm going to my G board where I can do multilingual typing. So now click languages, and then add keyboard. And I'm gonna search Chinese if you don't see it immediately, and then you will see there's simplified and traditional. And again, I do simplified. Okay. And so follow whatever your preferences, and add a pinyin, and handwriting. Done. Okay. And this time, I'm going to show you how to find the language preference from different way. So you click start, and then on the left side, you will see settings. Click that. And then here you have many options. Go to time and language. Okay, time and language here. Once you're there, you see that time, region, and language. So language is the one we want to click on. So you'll go to exact same page as where we did the first time. Okay, now you see I have Chinese Simplified China language pack already. Okay, see、so、you already have Microsoft Pinyin. Okay, so you're now all ready. Now let's type the first ever Chinese characters. Uh, before you type, though, you have to、uh, shift your keyboard to Chinese. So, say if you have Microsoft Pinyin, this is the one you want to choose. Okay, so you will see a Zhong and Ping. Okay, and since I prefer the other Pinyin, so I'm gonna use Sogo instead. Okay, either way, you have the Pinyin. So now, all you need to do is type the Pinyin. So let's type Wu. I in Chinese, so it will be W O. That's what you type W O. 
and then you will see you have E R and see which one looks like wo I and then choose it. So if it's number one, click one. If it's number two, click two. Or you can move your mouse over them too. Okay. So give it another try. 打字 So D A and choose the correct 打 and Z I choose the correct 字 What makes typing in Chinese different from typing English or Spanish is that each time when you type a character, you have to make your choices, and also you do not use the tones. Okay,、uh, move on to number two.、Uh, type the ping together. This one is、uh, to help you to type faster. So instead of type da, choose number one or two, and then zi choose you know whatever.、Uh, you can just type d a z i. And then you can see lots of options too. And then you will say, okay, maybe number one is my option. So you can just type them、uh, all at once. You do not need a space or anything. Okay. So this also works for、uh, common phrases too.、Uh, for example, 我喜欢你 I like you. So you just type 我喜欢你 To type even faster, now we're only use the initials. For example, 我喜欢你 you would only type W X H N. Okay, and then you will probably have lots of options like 我喜欢你我喜欢你的我想和你唱 Okay, so I know I want 我喜欢你 Just click that. So, ah.、Uh, So these are the ways to help you to type Chinese faster. One is to type all the pinyin together, without any space. Number two is you need use only the initials, and both number two and number three, they applies to common phrases. So what do you do when you have to type someone's name, and they those words are not common phrases? How do you find the character fast and easy? So here is the trick. For example, my name is Yang Ling in Chinese. We can try type Y A N G L I N in your own computer, and you will see there may not be an option of Yang Ling just like my name. Okay, so to find the ideal combination, what、um, what we can do is find Yang in Yang Guang,、uh, which means sunshine. So this is a common word. Okay, so if you type Yang Guang. And then you'll find Yang Guang to get rid of Yang, and then same thing for Ling.、Uh, I know a word called Ling Lang Man Mu. Ling Lang Man Mu. So you can do this one, and then you will find、uh, Ling Lang Man Mu.、Uh, this is what you get, and then get rid of those. So now you get Yang Ling relatively fast. Now give it a try for your own Chinese name. One more thing: How do you type this? Special u in pinyin. Okay, it's easy. Just use v instead. In Chinese, green is 绿色 Ah,、uh, and let me show you the pinyin. You will see the pinyin. So it's 绿色 So when you type, you just type l v and then s e. Then you will get one of the options will be 绿色 Okay. So that's how you type characters with the u sound. Now that you know how to type with your computer, it all will also apply to your phone. Okay, so just move on to your phone wherever you can type. Now we're gonna use pinyin again. So you will, you see, you have lots of choices. And Chinese 简体 that's Chinese simplified. And look at the little characters. The first one you see here is pinyin. So same thing. I'm gonna type. Ah, W O, and then you see there's also options. So we just click on the one I want. Ah, W, and then they will give you some suggestion too. Like, are you trying to say 我也没想到 or you want to say something else? So if we want to say something else, just type whatever that word you need. Okay, for example, 叫 So type J I A O and then select 叫 And then, if you need to switch language, like 我叫 crazy, then switch to English to say okay, 我叫 crazy. And then, if you continue to type in Chinese, you need to shift back again. So 我叫啊、uh, crazy, 我住在 Okay, so you can also type all the pin together, like 住在美国
Okay, this is a common phrase. So I type all them at one time, and the first option is what I need. Okay, so this is easy, right? 我喜欢吃东西 Okay, I like to eat things. So you can also try with the initials. 我喜欢吃东西 W X H C H D X. Ah,、uh, you will see the first one is exactly what I wanted. Okay, so all the tips and tricks we used on the computer also applies to your、uh, Pinyin keyboard. Okay, so now I'm going to show you how to use the handwriting one. So that's 手写 and here in Chinese it says 在这里手写输入文字 like here. You handwrite input your characters. So if I want to write write something easy like R, and you probably need to do it rather fast. Okay, so we will choose. Okay, R is the word I want, and then maybe I say Ah,、uh, 二十年啊、uh, twenty years. Okay, they also give you suggestions. But now let's see. I want to write really complicated like my name. Okay, like in Chinese is Yang Ling. So you're just gonna. Write it. Oh, they recognize it. Okay, that's Yang. So this part you can practice writing. For example, now you have a word in your mind, but you don't know exactly how you write it. So for example, 认识 Okay, maybe I know part of it, and then I just like um. Okay, so for example, <laughs> this is what I remember. So then you will see. Okay, which one is 认 So it's okay. Maybe the second one. So,、uh, using the handwriting to help yourself to recall how a character, how you write a character. So this is how you can use、um, the handwriting to practice your writing and practice your recognition. This little microphone sign. Click on that, and then make sure you are in Chinese so they can recognize your Chinese. And this is to help you to practice your speaking. So let's say, 喜欢 Uh, if you do 喜欢 correctly, of course they will offer 喜欢 But if you say 喜欢 instead of 喜欢 they will give you a different word. So in this way, your input can give you、uh, feedback on if you say one word correctly or at least good enough for the input to pick up. Okay. So let me know how you apply this to your Chinese learning and how it goes. And if you do not like Um, your devices to collect your information.、Uh, you could also just use、uh, Google Translate, which also have the、uh, voice thing. You can also speak something in Chinese and then、uh, to see if you say it correctly. And this works best when you say at least a phrase or a sentence, so that they can pick up easily. If you say only one word, like 我 it could be you know many different 我 or 妈 If、there's mama, the ma. There's other ma. Okay. Now that you know how to type in Chinese, why don't you introduce yourself in the comment in Chinese? Hope this session is helpful, and you can use it not only to type Chinese but also to learn Chinese. 这里是有一点 crazy 的 crazy 老师，我们下次见。